In this video, we're going to look at using the text tools. Two in particular, we're going to use the basic text tool, and we're also going to have a look at the text along a path tool. So we're going to start with just the basic text tool. So that's uh, this tool here, the ABC tool. If we click it, obviously we've got more options. We can draw text inside a box as well, and we can also draw text along a path. So to start off with, we click anywhere on the page, and then this text entry box will pop up. And all we need to do is type in whatever text that you want to show up on the screen. So I'm now going to design a form logo. So I'm just popping my form down here, 10 John Paul. And you can click OK. Now at the moment it's all justified to the left. If you want to centre it, you can do. If you select it and go down here to Properties, then the same text entry box will appear and you can go to Settings. In settings, you can change the font, you can change it to bold or italic, and you can also change the alignment. Now, the alignment's down here on the bottom left hand side, and all we need to do is where the box says alignment, it says align left at the moment, so what we're going to do is change that to centered, and then we can click OK. And now the text is centered. Okay, so now to make this into a logo, I'm going to put a circle around the form name uh, like this. And I can use a select tool and select the circle and make sure it's central. And then I thought it'd be nice if we put the school name going around the circle. So we can use the draw a text along a path tool this time, which is this one. And the path that we want to draw along is the circle. So once we've selected the tool, we click the circle. And then the text entry box will appear again, so you can write in the school name in this case. So St. Nicholas Catholic High School. We can change the settings and the fonts later if we want, but basically you just click OK and there you have it. So just to reiterate what I've just done there, I've selected the text along the path tool. And then I've clicked the circle as the path for the text to follow. Then just as normal, I've typed in the text and then clicked OK. And this is what we've ended up with. So now to make this look a bit more like a logo, I need to draw a circle around the very outside to enclose the school name. So again, I can just use a normal circle tool, draw it roughly around the outside, and I can always change the position of it later if I'm not happy with it. OK, so now finally I can add some colour to the logo. Now there's two ways of doing this. I could fill the circle like this, but then I'm going to have to select all the text and highlight them as islands, or else when we fill it, the actual fill will go over the letters. This is the long way of doing it. Or we could do it the easy way, whereas you select the text first, go to Edit and Arrange, and then we could bring it to the front. Then when we fill it, and I'm going to choose yellow for this one, it will fill, but it won't overlap the letters because the letters will be at the front and the fill will be at the back. Any islands? No. And there we go, a finished form logo.